in the great cosmic circle of time and even in the wide sweep of history, a period of 50 years may seem like a fleeting moment. But in the life journey of an individual or in the evolution of a corporate entity or an institution, 50 years is a long time indeed. This is even more so when such a life journey and such an evolution have been marked by an enviable record of outstanding achievements and notable accomplishments in line with its mission statement, creating a conducive environment using top-class facilities and human resources for academic, moral, religious and skill development of a total child like the proverbial tiny acorn that grows into a mighty oak tree. Grace schools comprising the Grace Crutch, Grace Children's School and the Grace High School have evolved in the half century of its existence from humble beginnings to become a giant and a leading light among schools of its kind. Not just in its catchment area, but in Lagos State as a whole and indeed all of Nigeria. Located at Plot 241 Ajidagon Street, Bagada, Lagos, Nigeria, it is a citadel of educational excellence and a veritable reference point when it comes to complete, qualitative and holistic learning designed to produce illustrious men and women able to use their hands and hearts as well as their heads in equal measure men and women who will not only be successful in their future endeavor but also men and women of high value wide influence and positive impact and individuals capable of winning in the competitive 21st century global marketplace of goods services information and most crucially ideas <laughs> The dream that has over the years metamorphosed into Grace Schools Bagada Lagos began in the mind of a visionary, a woman of single-minded purpose, in the person of its founder, Dickness Grace Bisola Oshinowo, an educationist of no mean repute. Dickin Oshinowo was an alumnus of the United Missionary College UMC Ibadan, Nigeria, where she trained as a teacher. She later graduated from Roehampton Education Institute, now the University of Roehampton in the United Kingdom, where she studied principles of education between 1955 and 1958. The management of the school eventually passed into the control of the founder's daughter, Mrs. Olatokumbo I. Edung an alumnus of Queen's College, Lagos, 1971-75, to and North Corner School, Sussex, England, 1975-1977. to Mrs. Ed holds the Bachelor of Arts degree in History from the University of Kent at Canterbury, 1980, and a Master of Sciences, MSc, in Comparative Economic Studies from the University of Essex. Mrs. Edo also holds a postgraduate diploma in education, PGDE, from the University of Lagos, 1983, and has attended various seminars on education in Nigeria and overseas. The primary school started in 19, January 1968. Then the secondary school started uh, in uh, 1994. Why we went into secondary education was because before that, Lots of Nigerian children always aspired to go to federal government colleges. But because of the quota system, lots of very brilliant children couldn't get into federal government colleges because of 
quota system. For example, there are some states that they will set the, the cutoff point to most of the southern states, 70, 80 percent, and yet lots of children who are qualified couldn't enter. Like other kids from the say the educationally disadvantaged states could enter a federal college within the seven percent or ten percent pass. So lots of the parents got frustrated and they thought, well, they want excellent uh, education for their children. So they went private because they were already very happy with the private primary education. So they thought, we might as well have private secondary too. Grace Children's School officially opened its doors to its students in January 1968. From the onset, the emphasis on the academic and moral training of children in equal measure, as well as the honing of intellectual, creative, vocational and athletic skills were clearly apparent. This innovative approach to modern education, which set the school apart from its competition, is now a time-honored tradition which continues to this very day. As can be seen in the rigor being employed in the classrooms, work laboratories and studios on a daily basis by the highly qualified and dedicated teachers and their attentive students. In Grace Children's School, all subjects are taught with the seriousness they deserve. But foundational ones like mathematics and English enjoy a special pride of place, even at the earliest stages of serious academic work, such as the junior primary level. We have codes of conduct for both staff and pupils. And at all times, we always ensure that our community recognizes that there is, a, there is a path for discipline as much as there is also a path to achieve academic excellence. So it's not all about academics. When I came in, one of the things that we did was to ensure to institute character values education, which had been in place. But we started doing something that we call Mind Your Character. And across school, every week, we have virtues that we talk about the things that we believe should be the bedrock of any child wanting to move forward. The intensity of the engagement between teacher and student in the learning process is even more apparent at the senior primary level. This engagement is not limited to the core subjects of mathematics and English language. In the spirit of turning out, the total child, one who is versatile as well as focused. The school has invested heavily in acquiring the instructional materials and the recruitment of high-powered teaching personnel needed to impart cutting-edge knowledge and expertise in subjects such as music, a subject in which Grace School has proved its mettle in recent years by winning a number of prestigious laurels in external competitions in Lagos State. As a cosmopolitan educational institution which is responsive to the trends of a rapidly changing world, Grace School recognizes that the 21st century world is a highly interconnected one in which high knowledge of international languages such as French as well as English language is crucial if one is to successfully navigate the worlds of business, technology, politics and culture. Grace School takes immense pride and satisfaction in the school's enviable status as a Microsoft Showcase School, a recognition that takes into cognizance the priority the school places on in information and communication technology. 
This starts along with the prestigious position the school occupies as the winner of the British Council's International School Award for three years running from 2014 to 2017. And the leverage this has given the school going forward has further spurred the management, especially the students, to explore new ways of using computer software and other tools in ever more creative ways in order to solve problems, to stimulate critical thinking and analysis, and to explore the frontiers of design and strategic planning on various levels. Like ICT, Fine Arts Teaching at Grace Children's School aims to refine the children's aesthetic sense, hone their talents in drawing, use of color, and understanding of shapes and forms to sharpen their observation and imaginative skills as well as develop their ability to express themselves in purely visual forms of communication. Ancient Greeks believed that a sound can only exist in a sound body. This credo is taken quite seriously at Greek schools as can be seen in the availability and quality of modern sports and recreational facilities on the school's campus. This emphasis on sports as a key component of human development and the inculcation of qualities as leadership skills, teamwork and solidarity is the reason why Grace Schools has consistently bagged important trophies in sporting competitions within Lagos State and beyond. The pursuit of a sound mind in a sound body is not limited to the plain peach alone. It encompasses the children's entire sojourn in the school. The school's concern for the health and wellness, whether physical or psychological, of each and every member of the school community, including the staff, is the reason why the school's clinic is also an important component in the scheme of things here at Grace Schools. At Grace Schools, the highly conducive learning environment is complemented by the state-of-the-art facilities within and outside the classrooms and laboratories, which conform to universally accepted standards. Amenities such as school buses, which convey the children and students to and from the school, are second to none. In accordance with the management's belief that nothing but the best is good enough for a prodigy, of Grace Schools. The success of the Grace Crutch and Grace Children's School gave the administrator and management a great impetus towards the expansion of the school's educational program to include a secondary school curriculum, a transition which came to fruition with the establishment of Grace High School in 1994. We are in the 14th year of that. We call it the Indigent Students Scholarship Award. Um, we, they, they normally, is normally in February, uh, GSS, GS3 students from public schools come in for an exam. And after that, we select 10 children for another interview. And out of the 10, we could take two or three. Three sometimes because if the first two are boys, I always make sure the third one is a girl because the girl child in Nigeria is already at a disadvantage. So you should encourage them. Green started with 23 pupils. From the first nine, Green sent to secondary school in 1972. The first nine product that went to secondary school in 1972. If you look at it, from that time to this present time, Grace has registered over 10,000 pupils. And these 10,000 people have graduated, some of them are doctors, some of them are engineers, spread around the globe. The curriculum of Grace High School is no less innovative than that of its junior counterpart, holistic, qualitative, and diverse. This insistence on globally accepted educational practices is the reason why Grace High School stands heads and shoulders above its peers in its immediate environment and enjoys such a high reputation among its partner schools and complementary organizations around the world.
As far as the school's management is concerned, it is a reputation that will be built on as the years go by. The school's concept of qualitative and total education is that education without character is nothing. We train our children here to be total in everything, in character, in learning, in behavior, in whatever they do, so that they will not be found wanting in anything. That's why we say total development of the child. Not just developing an aspect of the child or an area or an, uh, uh, just a segment of a child. No, it has to be total, all-round development, so that the child will be able to integrate and be useful to himself, the family, and the nation at large. If anything, it's to be you know, respectful because everywhere you go, you're going to meet different people and you need to learn to humble yourself and respect those people because you never know where you'll meet in life and you never know how they would help you and it's not right to carry yourself with pride and not bring yourself down to their level. So I think respect has been one of their, the greatest lessons I've learned from you. Once you walk into the school, you do not feel as if you've gone into a prison as with most other schools where everyone is just dead, you know, there's no life. Uh, your parents, uh, sorry, your, your teachers are not just um, adults who are there to educate you, they are there to listen to you as well. So you can laugh around with your teachers. There is this big atmosphere of, you know, um, a wholesomeness and family within the school and you can more or less do anything as long as you follow the standards and yeah, that's basically it. You, you can feel free and you can learn anything. It goes without saying, of course, that the test of a school's mettle is in the quality of its students and their ability to hold their own anywhere they find themselves. That is one test Great School has passed with flying colors. The list of Great School alumni reads like a veritable who is who in the society in Nigeria and beyond its shores. Not only are Gray School graduates flying the illustrious banner of their alma mater in their pursuit of further studies in higher institutions around the globe, but are making an indelible mark in their chosen careers and professions. I was in that transition period where we had Mrs. Alonge and uh, Mrs. Olubabokun, you know, um, and Grace has evolved over the years. I, I, coming back, I'm still trying to like reconcile the memories I have and what's on ground and. It's a, it's a bit of a struggle because there's been a lot of progress, both physically and in terms of the structure of the educational system that Grace has in place. So going back to those days, I remember one of the things Mr. Zoluba always said on the, um, the assembly ground was, ask yourself the question, how do I make a success of my life? And that has followed me throughout the years, you know, always pushing yourself further. No matter what you've achieved, you always know that there's more to, to do. I was a pupil here from the year 1987 till the year 1995 and it was wholesome being a pupil here and one of the things I benefited from the school basically is that it taught me the four principles of life which is working hard, playing hard, praying hard and being nice to all that comes across my path. This school is the best for me because there are many things that the child will benefit from the school in terms of teaching experience. The teachers here are very very good in terms of facilities, they use world-class facilities to train students. So that was the reason when I got to Union, I was be able to compete. Despite that we have tedious environment there, but because I was doomed here and I, train, I was trained in this system, so I, I was not afraid of any difficulty. Because I was able to compete and graduate with first class. At Grace Schools, parents and guardians are not only just paying customers, they are nothing short of partners in progress, whose input in the policies, programs and projections of the school are highly valued and eagerly sought by the school's management and staff. This intimate relationship has over the years been mutually beneficial and gratifying to both parties. The Great School is one of the best schools we have. Going by awards, they win both local and international, and then the products of the school, the old uh, 
students of the school that are doing very well in um, exams, local and international exams. And I will probably give an example with my own kids who pass through this school and wherever they go, you still see the signature of great school on them. The school has been amazing. I came here just three years, but the impact has been as if I've been here for about 10 years. My kids can stand anywhere, even traveling out, they can stand anybody and talk. So the school has really instilled in them. And even the moral value of the school is mwah. I love it so much. When you are going, you see high school children greeting. It's amazing. You can only find it anywhere apart from Grace. I'm using this opportunity to wish Grace School happy 50th anniversary and many more to come. When I walk in myself um, to come and make an inquiry, I noticed as I was passing, as each student was passing by, they were like, good afternoon, ma, good afternoon, ma. I was so impressed. They greet you with respect. No person passed by you without saying, afternoon. That's a curse. That's one of the things that really impressed me. But anytime the children are opportune, my children are opportune to, to travel out of the country, you know, the standard is so confidential in them that, you know, they mix even with the children abroad in their accent, they speak well, that my friends abroad, we ask them, what school are they going? You know, I'm so proud to, you know, tell them, oh, it's great school. Then they begin to ask for the information about the school. It's really, really, really a world-class school, and they meet up with every standard in the world. I am so proud. Indeed, the last 50 years have indeed been a tale of God's awesome grace and a lesson on the power of vision and the resilience of the human spirit. In this case, the far-sighted vision of the founder, Dickness Grace Bisola Oshinowo, and the administrative acumen of the present administrator, Mrs. I. O. Edu, as well as the education and commitment of the legion of teachers, supervisors, and support staff who have passed through its portals over the years, as the school marks its half century in the service of mankind, it is safe to say that Dickiness Oshinawa's legacy is not only here to stay, but will continue to grow in size and scope, as well as in its impact on society and its influence on the lives and professional trajectories of future generations of pupils and students. Here is to the next 50 years.